stress because he was feeling so much separation from the people of Vrindavan. So they arranged to take they they arranged to take Krishna to a place called uh New Vrindavan. It was a, a replica of Vrindavan. But it was not Vrindavan, it was just it was a place beside Dwarka. And they arranged to uh, they had they had many different statues made of different people of Vrindavan, like Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda and the cowherd boys. And these different statues were all there in this place. So when Krishna saw them, he thought they were actually people. He didn't realize they were only statues. So Lord Krishna was unaware that this was not Vrindavan. He actually thought he was in Vrindavan. And he, he was, when he was by the, the sea, they were at the shore of this ocean, but Krishna thought it was the Yamuna River. So there were there was the only people who were actually allowed to come there was Lord Balaram and Rohini, who was the mother of Balaram, because she had also been in Vrindavan. So Lord Krishna was there with just Lord Balaram and Rohini. Yeah, Rohini, the mother of Balaram. So Lord Krishna had gone, he'd come out of the city of Dwarka and he'd come out to take care of the cows. He was thinking he was coming out to take care of the cows. So he, when he saw the when he saw when he saw the situation, he he was surprised, and he he began to have doubts. Yeah, because he he'd been he remembered he'd been sleeping inside the palace in Dwarka he was in the palace and he's sleeping and then he came out and he was with the Lord Balaram and they were dressed like cowherd boys. Yeah, that Krishna and Balaram were dressed in clothes like the cowherd boys, and Krishna had a flute in his hand. So Krishna was a, he was he was he was thinking about what what happened. He's thinking about where is he? He's not sure. He thought he was in Vrindavan, but he's not sure. Krishna, he just started thinking. He thought he was in Vrindavan, but he's not sure. 
，他本来以为他自己再也问他们了，但是他现在他有点不确定了。So Krishna is now remembering actually that he is the prince of Dwarka. Krishna now remembers that he is the prince of Dwarka. And then he has to, uh, he's, he's trying to understand why he and Balaram were dressed like cowherd boys and how they've been tending the cows. And then he is trying to understand why he and Balaram were dressed and he, he, now Krishna also understands that it's not the Yamuna, it's the shore of the ocean. Because the waves are coming in, the pounding of the ocean as it comes into the shore, you could understand, why oh, this is not the Yamuna. So Krishna was thinking about why, the, why he's acting like this and what is actually happening to him. So Krishna is thinking about it. He laughed at his own. He, he wasn't able to figure out what it was. He, he just laughed about it. So, Balaram understood that Krishna was thinking about things. So, Balarama smiled and explained to him that this was all Brahma's arrangement. And he told Krishna the reason why it had been done. So Balarama could understand because he saw Krishna smiling and laughing to himself, so he could understand that Krishna was now, he wasn't so much disturbed by the separation from Vrindavan. He had calmed down. So Balaram explains to Krishna that actually Brahma had planned all this just to bring Krishna back to his normal mood and state of mind. And with the help of Garuda and others, they had made this plan to bring Krishna to this place to help him to get back to his normal mood. So Krishna looked at Lord Balaram's face and he, he smiled at him just like as, as if he was an embarrassed. And because Krishna's body was covered with dust, Lord Balaram wiped him clean and bathed him in the sea. Krishna's body was covered with dust, Lord Balaram wiped him clean and bathed him in the sea. 
，就把他身上的尘土打干净，让 Krishna 在大海当中沐浴。Actually, Krishna didn't have any reason to be embarrassed. He'd be. 事实上 ，He'd behave just like actually he behaved in a very, a very praiseworthy manner. Krishna, 嗯，本来也没有什么理由感到难堪难为情。他的行为举止呢，实际上是完全值得赞扬的。嗯、so Krishna himself says, humility means to be disgusted with improper activity. 按照主库什纳本人的话，嗯，真正的谦卑就意味着对不恰当的行为举止感到厌恶。If somebody has, if one somebody's done some kind of illicit activities, one sh, we should feel very shameful, and we should condemn our behavior. 倘若人要从事了非法的行为，他应该感到羞耻，谴责自己的不当行为。But Krishna didn't feel any shame. He just only looked at Balaram and smiled. 但 Krishna 并没有羞耻感，他只是看着 Balaram 微笑。So Lord Balaram. Carefully wiped the dust off of Krishna, and pick and because Krishna had been herding the cows, so when the cows they knock up a lot of dust, so it all had come on Krishna's body. So Lord Balaram was cleaning Krishna. 嗯，因为主库什呢在放牧母牛，所以他身上就沾上了很多尘土，因此巴拉拉玛便把他身上的尘土打干净。That's one way Krishna may have got dust on his body because he was with the cows, but another possibility is that Krishna had got the dust on his body because he'd been rolling around the palace. He'd been rolling on the ground sometimes in his uncontrollable ecstasy. To Krishna, 身上沾满的尘土，一个原因是因为他在照料母牛沾上的，另一个原因是因为，嗯，他出于无法遏制的狂喜之情，在他的宫殿当中到处打滚儿。It was just at that time that Garuda arrives, because Garuda he always understands the mood of Lord Krishna very well. At that time, at that time, Garuda came because he completely understood the mood of the Lord. So Krishna got on onto Garuda, climbed on top of Garuda. And Garuda carried him back to his palace unseen. Krishna 就骑上了 Garuda 的背上 ，Garuda 就在没有人看见、不被人看见的情形之下，把 Krishna 驮回了他的宫殿。So Uddhava knows all this. He knows everything which is going on. Uddhava, because he's very close to Krishna, he's like Krishna's secretary. So he told Devaki and Rukmini and the others what was happening. Guru, um, Udava, um, he is Krishna's secretary, so he is very close to Krishna. He told Devaki, Rukmini, and the others what was happening. So Udava brought all the queens back to the palace where they were sitting. So Udava brought all the queens back to the palace. To be at Lord Krishna's side. Udava 又把所有的皇后们带回了宫殿，回到了主 Krishna 的身旁
And Uddhava also arranged that Kamsa's mother, Padmavati, that she wouldn't be there because she would, she would ruin the whole thing. She would create a bad mood, a bad atmosphere. Padmavati, he Uruva arranged for Padmavati to have to go somewhere and do something, business, some other place. Guramani? Yes. Did you hear? Okay, just now. No. Oh, you had some. You couldn't hear. I was, yeah, just now. I was saying that Uddhava arranged for Padmavati to go some other place to do some business so that she would not be there because they were going to talk very confidential things. So Mother Devaki greeted Lord Krishna, who is her son, and she gave him blessings. So Devaki understood what the time was and she was aware that it was time for Krishna to get his food, so she went to prepare the meal for Krishna. So actually Devaki arranged to, to leave the company of Lord Krishna so that Krishna could be alone with his queens. And it gives, this gives Krishna a chance to talk to his queens about the 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 the, the devotion of the people of Vrindavan. Krishna had too much affection for his mother Devaki. He thought of her like his mother. He couldn't talk openly in her presence about the people of Vrindavan. So Devaki knew it was time to cook for Krishna and she also understood that she ought to leave Krishna with his queen so he could talk with them confidentially. So the, the different queens of Lord Krishna, they all stayed, they were hiding themselves behind the different columns and they weren't approaching Krishna. But Krishna noticed that Satyabhama hadn't come there. So Krishna asked, he asked about her to Uddhava. He said, what happened to Satyabhama? Where's Satyabhama? 
会是呢？他注意到，萨提亚巴玛并没有在这些皇后们中间，所以 Krishna 啊就向乌道了询问：萨提亚巴玛在哪里？他是怎么了？ So Uddhava said, it, it, "It says to Krishna, 'Well, what, when you when you went when you took your trip to Vrindavan, at that time your special mood might have bewildered unintelligent people.'" Uddhava answered, "When you went to Vrindavan, 您的特殊的心态，嗯，也许困惑了那些没有智慧的人们。But your queens, they were able to understand it. 嗯，但是你的皇后们完全能够理解这一切。So they had they had watched everything from a distance. 因此，他们都远远的在注视着。But then the, that Padmavati, that weak-minded, spiteful woman, Padmavati, she had talked to them. So Uddhava is sometimes called Hari Das. It's another name for Uddhava. And when uh, in the in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Sukadeva Goswami says, uh, "How Hari Das Uddhava enjoyed the beauty of Vrindavan." The rivers and the forests and the mountains. Uddhava 有时候被称为是 Hari Das， 在圣典博加瓦谈当中是这样描述的。Uddhava， 嗯，享受这文道的美景，他在注视着那里的河流、森林、山脉和树木。And he, Uddhava enjoyed. In encouraging the people of Vrindavan, reminding them of Lord Krishna. Uddhava, 通过提醒文达们的居民有关主 Krishna 的事情，在鼓励着文达们的人们。So Uddhava said, "Oh, Uddhava has, oh, Devaki." With, because there are no pious credits, O Devaki, without any pious credit, and O Rukmini, unfortunate one, that wretched Satyabama, Janbavati, and your other miserable women. Just look here. From now on, you should give up your pride and undergo the great penance to become a servant of those tribal women, the Abira nomad women, the tribal Aborigine women. Devakiya，嗯，缺乏虔诚功德的Devakiya，不幸的Rukmini啊，可怜的萨迦巴玛、张巴巴提和你们这些其他可怜的女人们啊，看这里，从现在开始，你们应该放弃你们的傲慢，
So the queens of Dwarka, they may be thinking that they have won Krishna's hand to be their husband in marriage. But they should understand that they don't have a very strong hold on his heart because his heart is given to the people of Vrindavan, to the gopis in Vrindavan. And the Abiras, the Abiras are tribal women, they're from a very low class community of people. Abiras is but the people who Nanda Maharaj, the cowherd, the cowherd people of Nanda Maharaj, they're all respectable. They're twice born Vaishyas. But Nanda Maharaj's people, they're also taking care of the cows, just like the tribal people, they're also taking care of the cows. Mm. And then out of spite, that woman Padmavati, she says that Nanda's gopas, Nanda, Nanda Maharaj's cowherd men are are just like the Abiras, they're just like tribal people, like Aborigines. So she's like criticizing them. So in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it says people of all different races, even if they're sinful, they can all be purified by taking shelter of the devotees. So then Uddhava turns to Lord Krishna and he says to Krishna that the wise Devaki shelters you, who, but you shelter the whole world. But Devaki, because she's your mother, she's sheltering you. And you, uh, Uddhava is saying to Krishna that you give shelter to the whole world. Uddhava Krishna So what, when she heard these words, when, she, when Devaki heard these words, then she said, oh foolish woman, because she heard the words of Padmavati and she says, you foolish woman, what is, what is unusual here? There's nothing, in other words, there's nothing unusual here. Devaki, you 
他说：“愚蠢的女人啊，在这里有什么不寻常的事情吗？” Because Devaki and Vasudev, in their previous life, they had done great austerities to get Krishna as their son. And Krishna was so kind to them that he accepted them to be their his parents, and he took birth from the womb, Devaki. But Nanda and Yashoda. They pray to Lord Brahma for pure devotion. So Lord Krishna always has special affection for his for his parents, Vasudev and Devaki, just as he has for Nanda and Yashoda. Actually, Nanda and Yashoda are more intimately connected with Krishna than Vasudev and Devaki. Vasudev and Devaki, in their previous life, they had been Prishne and Suptapa. Vasudev and Devaki, in their previous life, they had been Prishne and Suptapa. So at that time, they did their austerities to get Krishna as their son. So in that time, they have completed the austerities. The purpose is to make Krishna as their son. So they did the austerities for many years, and then finally the Lord came in front of them. And then at that time, Vasudev and Devaki begged him that they could have the Lord, that he would come as their child. 嗯，当他们从事了多年的苦行之后，就 Krishna 就来到了他们面前，他们两个人便向主祈祷，恳求主做自己的孩子。And so Krishna agreed. He accepted their request. He said, "All right, you can be my parents. I will take birth as your child." 主便答应了他们的恳求，说。So the Lord actually said to Devaki, He said, "O、oh, sinless mother, Devaki, after twelve thousand years of the demigods, you have constantly thought of me within your heart." 主。告诉 Devaki， 无罪的母亲 Devaki 啊，过了一万二千个天堂年之后，在这期间，你恒常的在内心深处想着我。And you always you you did your austerity thinking of me with devotion. So the Lord said, I'm very satisfied with you. So I want you to ask whatever benediction you desire. I want to ask you to ask whatever benediction you desire. I want to ask you 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 to
So Lord Krishna, he always, he gives the best of all benedictions to his devotees. So he was able to bless Prishni and Sutapa to become his parents, not once but three times. But to Nanda and Yashoda, their, their, love, their love for Krishna is more pure. So Krishna gave them a greater reward. They enjoy the topmost perfection of prema bhakti, found only in the found the prema bhakti which they have. You only find in Vrindavan. Mm. So, uh, so Nanda Maharaj, he is in the he's playing the role of a person called Vasu, Vasu Drona. And he prayed to Lord Brahma. Vasud, this is Nanda Maharaj previously, in his previous life, he prayed to Lord Brahma. He said, please allow us to take birth on the planet Earth so that after our after the appearance of Lord Krishna, uh, oh no! After after our appearance, the Lord will come as our child. And at that time when the Lord appears on the planet Earth, he will be able to spread devotion of service, the ultimate goal of life. So those, pe those people born in this material world can all be delivered from their miserable materialistic life. So Nanda Maharaj was worried about the unhappy conditioned souls. He knew there were many conditioned souls who are unhappy, suffering in the material world, and he wanted to help them. So he wanted Krishna, he wanted Lord Krishna to show his childhood pastimes. 
so that the world would hear and talk about them and in this way they would get a taste for love of Krishna. So by the blessing of the devotee of the Lord, Nanda and Yashoda, with their whole household, became greater than us. So Devaki's opinion is that Lord Brahma had the power to make Nanda and Yashoda the best parents of Krishna. So Devaki is thinking that Brahma is the best of all of Krishna's devotees, so he could do that. Uh, yeah, in the Srimad Bhagavatam in the second canto it describes that Brahma is the first of all the gods. He's the supreme spiritual master of the world. So Devaki shows that the Supreme Lord uh, just a minute and so Brahma Devaki Devaki is showing by comparing the blessings that the Supreme Lord empowers devotees in their service. So the benedictions which the devotees give can be even more effective than Krishna's own benedictions. So because Nanda and Yashoda had exceptional love for Krishna, they were allowed to bring, to, to raise the child, uh, to bring up the child and to be in his childhood Leela. So, his Lord Krishna's special attitude towards them was proper and very much pleasing to, and was very pleasing to Uddhava. So, he so, 
是十分恰当的，是要令乌达瓦十分的满意。Nanda and Yashoda deserve that kind of love, that kind of appreciation from Lord Krishna. Nanda and Yashoda. 嗯, Krishna is not ungrateful. He appreciates the great love of his great devotees. Krishna is not ungrateful. He appreciates the great love of his great devotees. So then Rukmini spoke, and hearing her words, all the devotees increased their love for Krishna. Just hearing the praise of devotees who are greater than us, just like the praise about, the, the, we're going to hear Queen Rukmini speaking praise, it does not cause envy or discouragement of the pure devotees. Hearing the devotees praised, the other devotees become more eager to please Krishna by their own service. So Queen Rukmini says, those women gave up everything. They gave up their husbands, their sons, and everything they had. It's talking about the gopis. And they didn't worry about their own fortune. They didn't consider about their own position in this world or in the next. They voluntarily they accepted all the difficulties, all the distress, and they worship Krishna in their own way. And they please Krishna in the rasa dance and many other pastimes. They were able to give pleasure to Krishna. So Queen Rukmini says, she said, we can only hope to get Lord Krishna only by following many uh, different spiritual practices very strictly. Krishna. 
and we have to practice training our hearts to give full attention to Krishna. But the gopis of Vrindavan, they had so much pure love for Krishna that they easily attained the success of the the most advanced meditators. Other devotees can only hope to follow in the footsteps of the Vrindavan gopis. And by their sincere efforts, they might be able to approach that perfection, this, that perfectional position of the gopis. The position which the gopis had that was their natural birth, right? that they had that love from their birth. So for most people, most devotees, they will only see Krishna in their hearts. But the gopis, they were able to directly serve him and to dance with him and and to engage all their senses in the service of Krishna directly. They have Krishna's attention fully in their heart. So Uddhava, he appreciated the gopis very much and he told the gopis, he said that your mood of serving Krishna in separation, you, you have passed a path, you've shown a path which even great yogis cannot go on. You, because you've made Krishna the object of your meditation. But other people, the, when they try to put their attention on Krishna, it's, they, it's a very difficult for them. But for you gopis, it's very easy, very natural. So Uddhava said, it's better that Krishna It's better, oh, Rukmini is speaking, she said, it's better that Krishna should love them more than he loves us. Oh. Rukmini 
爱这些公平们胜过爱我们。Rukmini said, "We are, we are, we are so obsessed with our religious duties and our social obligations and our children and our grandchildren. We are attached to our homes and our household affairs and so on." Rukmini said, "We are so obsessed with our religious duties and our social obligations." 社会义务，我们的孩子、孙孙辈们，我们依附我们的家、家务事等等。We are just his maid servants. We worship him with great respect, like like fall we're like fallen condition souls. 我们只是他的女仆而已。我们就像堕落的、贫困灵魂那样，怀着敬畏崇拜他。We're married to Krishna, but we should not envy his love for the gopis. 我们尽管嫁给了 Krishna， 但是不应，我们不应该嫉妒 Krishna 对 gopi 们的无与伦比的爱。We should always praise the love which the gopis have for Krishna. The love which they have for Krishna shows how Krishna gives himself to his very dear devotees. 狗皮们对 Krishna 的这种这份爱，就表明了、显扬了 Krishna 是如何被他的奉献者的爱所控制、屈从于他的奉献者的爱。So we'll stop here. 今天我们就讲到这里。We'll ask if there's any questions. 我们接下来是回答问题。Uh, there is still a question from last week. Okay. 呃，我们先回答上一周二留下的一个问题，是 Krishna Kumar David Dasi， 他说顶拜公主，请问奉爱的蔓藤从信心到 Prima， 临终一念是要处在 Prima 阶段才能这一世回归守神吗？嗯 ，Abhisesh Guru。Um, the Bhakti Lada bridge developed from Shraddha to Prema. So the question is that whether or not our uh, uh, on the final moment uh, our thoughts should be uh, situated in the level of Prema that only on that the prima level, uh, can, uh, we, we can go back in this lifetime to back to Godhead. Well, Bhava is also very good. I think you can also go back to Godhead with Bhava. Bhava is also very good. I think you can also go back to Godhead with Bhava. Yeah. 
第一个问题是来自于舒皮如帕的给大家写，嗯 ，Hari Krishna， 顶拜亲爱的 Guru 和老师。感染后身体的各种症状让知觉备受打扰，比如根本开口不了，开不了口读书，圣明也出不了声音，感觉离死亡是那么近距离。请问 Guru， 第一，心里默念圣明也可以让让主听见吗？Hare Krishna, obeisance, dear Guru. When I was affected with the virus, and there are all kinds of symptoms, and my consciousness was disturbed greatly. For example, I cannot, I cannot read aloud books. And I cannot even utter the holy name. <clears throat> I felt I'm so the death is so near to me. Guru, first the first question is um, when I chant the holy name silently in my mind, can the Lord can Lord oh, hear my chanting in the mind? Yes. 可以。第二，通信。Krishna can appear in your mind, yes, but I don't know how long you can keep him in your mind because the mind is very restless. 嗯，主是可以显现在你心心意里头的，呃，但我不知道主可以在你的心里。待多久？因为心仪他总是不安不稳的。She she's asking whether or not the Lord can can hear hear her chanting silently. If you are chanting, then he can hear you. 嗯，只要是你念诵的话，主都是可以听到的。But it's not very. Easy. It's not the recommended process. Loud chanting will be good for you and for people who hear you. You give the name to other people who will benefit them. 高声的唱诵圣名，嗯，可以让你自己受益，也可以让其他人受益，嗯，因为让他们也能听到圣名了。嗯，呃 ，the second part， 呃、uh, ，I。There is constant japa. Uh, for the whole night, I constantly play the japa of guru and the lecture of guru. If I left my body, hearing hearing guru's japa and lecture. Whether or not I get I get the final here from Guru. Well, it it depends if you are hearing or not. If you hear carefully, then you will get benefit. Hmm. This is dependent on. 您是否听到了？如果您是仔细的、小心的聆听了，就能获得好处。第三个问题：是否很长时间人类都回不到可以正常呼唤的状态了呢？
正常呼唤的状态。嗯 ，Whether or not for a long time the human being cannot restore to the normal state of calling, calling, calling out aloud. Whether or not what? Uh, I don't understand the question. <laughs> 是否很长时间，人类都活不了可以正常呼唤的状态？说句如何吗？这个是什么意思？您再解释一下吧。那先看第四个问题：如果我们从症状中康复过来，应该如何把这种体验用于帮助他人稳定灵性知灵性知觉的气息呢？感谢的部落老师，请多多保重身体。If we recovered from those old symptoms, no. How how can we use our experience in the illness to help the others to make their spiritual consciousness be,、uh, very steady? Well, we can just simply encourage them in Krishna consciousness. We can preach to them about how to make how to prepare ourselves for the end of life. 我们可以鼓励他们，向他们，传扬 Krishna 之觉，让他们为临终一刻做好准备。We have to explain to them about the temporary nature of the body and how the soul is eternal. We give up one body, we take another body, so we can prepare for a better body in the next life. 我们要告诉他们，这个躯体是短暂的，而灵魂却是永恒的。当灵魂放弃一个短暂的躯体，会得到另一个躯体，所以他们要为来生做好准备，好得到一个更好的躯体。嗯、正常的呼吸的状态。呃，第三个问题是，是否很长时间人类？人类都回不到可以正常呼吸的状态了。Whether or not for a long time the human being cannot go back to the to the condition of normal breathing. Normal breathing. Y- yes. What the Whether or not the human being can go back to the normal breathing condition. Yes. What do you mean? After you mean after having COVID disease? Maybe, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. You, you, you. 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 人很长时间都不能恢复正常的呼吸状态吗 ？Because in the in the air, it is full of the virus, and every breath. They will inhale those virus. Yeah. Well, viruses are not eternal. 病毒不是永恒的。And we will learn to live with them in course of time. 随着时间的推移，我们会学会。跟他们和和平共处。嗯哼。嗯，下一个问题是来来自于 Yogati Sachi Devadasi。Hare Krishna, dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Shri Prabhupada. First, in one of your classes in Malaysia, you talked about how Vedura encouraged. Vedavastra to leave home 
so as not to be a burden on his relatives. But on the other hand, we must take care of elderly relatives. How to combine those two points to, or two points of view? Vati Sachi, David Ashu, Hare Krishna, Chinna Kumar, Chicho, Baby Dimbai, we are going to show her part. Sending Zamalasia, Medura, Uli, the big Vasra, the Taja, Jiang, to put you get her chin chimen, Zhao Chung Fudan, and she's telling one meal, Wom Bishi, Yao Zhao Gu, Nian Lao, the Chin Shu, Saman, Bachelor, the well, the Vedic culture is that in old age, we don't just sit around and wait for the young people to take care of us. But the Vedic culture is that in old age, a person goes out of home and prepares himself for the next life. And so old old age to go out go go to live in the holy places or go to live in the association of devotees. You just stay at home, you just be a burden on the family members. It will not be very pleasant. Yes. Mar, can you add a question? Yes. Because you you mentioned in in your one class you said when people get old they should depend on their children. No. That's no. that's materialistic life people do like that. But that's not spiritual life. So when devotees get old, they should also leave home and go to live in the social association of devotees, even in, now in the holy town. Yes, right. Yeah. Oh, 那就是说，人到年上了年纪啊，就是奉献者们，他们也应该离开家，应该生活在奉献者们的联谊当中。Okay, thank you. In the same class, you said that it is not desirable for Vaishnavas to have pets. What about those devotees who already have pets and are unable to give them away? And what if the animal eats meat? Uh Well the animals don't live forever. They will also give up the body one day. <coughs> so, 
So once they give up the body, don't get any more. And uh, what if the animal eats meat? Then stop giving it meat and give it vegetarian. Give it veggie meat. <laughs> Okay. Yes, right. Krishna Kaoyaniman. <laughs> we all get tested by Krishna, every one of us. Krishna gives these difficulties just to help us to become more Krishna conscious. Krishna Krishna都以他 Krishna obeisance guru to guru and all devotees. Uh, why? Every time the demigods or human beings pray to Lord Krishna, Krishna always appear in the form of Vishnu and not in the form of Krishna. Who comes in the form of Vishnu? Uh, when people or demigods prayed for prayed to Lord Krishna, and Krishna will descend, appear in the form of Vishnu Tattva, not in his Krishna's form. Well, they don't always pray to Krishna. They pray to Vishnu or they pray to the Supreme Lord. And they're not sure. It's not that they pray to Krishna. When the Lord comes in Vishnu form, just like Dhruva Maharaj, he was just worshipping the Supreme Lord, but he didn't know any particular form of the Lord. Vivo Bima <laughs> Yes, chanting the holy name will help you to overcome all the difficulties. Everything can be solved by the holy name. Yes, chanting the holy name will help you to overcome all the difficulties. Everything can be solved by the holy name. 
一切问题都可以通过唱诵圣名得得以解决。The holy name is the, the panacea, the medicine for all the material diseases. Just take shelter of the holy name. So now in China you have so much uh, coronavirus, so you have to just take shelter of the holy name. That will protect you. The holy name is our shelter. 中文称为是万金油就是它是治愈一切物质疾病的良药我们应该托比于圣明尤其是在当下这个嗯这个新冠病毒泛滥的氛围之中我们尤其要托比于圣明圣明会保护我们对我们屁股 下一个问题是哈瑞尼。李拜姑对，请问姑如，经典说主布拉玛也是个体灵魂，那亚修达和南达他们也是个体灵魂吗？Yes。他们为什？是的，他们是也是个体灵魂。他们为什么可以直接
you have to go on with your your regular life and you just simply have to try and practice Krishna consciousness and just see what arrangement Krishna has. What is Krishna's plan? Ultimately it's all in the hands of Krishna. He's the controller. So wait and see what happens, what is the situation going to be. Don't be attached to any one person. You just simply be attached to Krishna. He's in the heart of everyone. Krishna Main, your main duty is to chant the holy name. You chant the holy name and practice regulated principles, act according to the scriptures, then you're protected. Nothing bad will happen. between devotional service and doing penance is that when you do devotional service it will take away the anarthas permanently but if you just do prayaschit the anarthas can easily come back so uh, once we are devotees, do we need to still do penances? Yes, we still do penance. It says in the Bhagavad Gita, acts of sacrifice, penance and austerity and charity should never be given up. But our penalties will be in relation to devotional service. Just like 
penances will do fasting, will observe fasting on holy days like Ikarasi and Janmastami, Gorpurnima, these days we will do observe fasting. We will observe penances by doing things like chanting the holy name, doing more chanting on holy days like the Kadesi. Penances are also doing things like waking up early in the morning. That's a penance. And then also penances are also doing things like going to the holy places. You have to maintain yourself, so you work for your maintenance. And you're right, we shouldn't have too much ambition, but you may pretend in the presence of ordinary materialistic people, you may pretend to be like them and you may talk, yes, I have to do more, I have to try hard. Huh? So sometimes, you know, we, we may want to show people that we are concerned and we do want to try hard and so on. But within our mind we should always think, I just want to take shelter of Krishna. Yes. 
是玄心瓶。礼拜敬爱的多马尔，感谢您。我好想问问题，但是我现在也阳了，浑身酸痛。咕噜，等我好好了再问。礼拜布马尔，莲花足。OK， 下一个问题。下一个是小草，顶拜姑妈二指和奉献者，请问，咕噜马法术对了，爸爸和南的爸爸是最好的朋友，这种友谊是物质的友谊还是灵性的呢 ？Well, yeah, because they're both great devotees, their friendship is also spiritual. 是的，因为他们都是伟大奉献者，所以他们的友谊肯定是灵性的。When they meet together, they're talking about Krishna. 因为这两位奉献者在一起的时候，他们的谈话的焦点是 Krishna. They're not materialistic people. They're, 他们可不是物质主义者。They're both very, very great devotees. 这两位可都是伟大伟大的奉献者。嗯。下一个是 vivo 还是 vivo vivo 叉二二零 plus a 咕噜奉献者自己在家读瓦坦和与奉献者联谊一起读瓦坦有很大的区别吗 ？Guru, what's the difference between I read Shrima Bhagavata in my home alone, and and, and I read Shrima Bhagavata in the association association of devotee. Are there any big difference? Yes, there's a difference. 嗯，他们俩的区别可大了。The difference is when you read in the association of devotees, they will keep you awake. They'll make you pay attention. But when you read at home, you may not read with so much attention. When you read with the devotees, then you can discuss with them. You can. Make sure you understand things. You will understand it clearer. You want to explain it with them, so you'll get more understanding. If you just read it on your own, we you don't know how much you're understanding. 如果是您自己在那里读的话，您就不知道自己的这个理解程度有多深了。嗯、下一个问题，大大圣他继续问：大圣读瓦坛不像学佛教时，读后回向和自己有缘的众生，也能受益吗？大声读完它，不像学佛教时读不回。嗯 ，When we read read aloud Shrimad Bhagavatam, can we give the credit back to those relatives who are, who have a relationship with us, and can they get? Benefits like when I was learning in the Buddhism. Yes, if you read aloud, everybody who hears will benefit. 嗯，如果您大声的读瓦坛的话，那每个聆听到瓦坛的生物，他们都能受获益。This devotee is asking whether or not we can give the credit to the person, just like、uh, we chant Hare Krishna. 
give the credit to the person. Yeah, to to the living entities. Well, they have to hear the living entity. If the living entities hear the sound vibration, then they will be benefited. But if they don't want to hear, if they're not willing to hear, then it would be very difficult to help them. Vivashwan is the sun god. He's the god of the sun planet. Yeah, on the sun planet you'll see, oh, there's fire there. Can anybody live there? Yeah, there are living entities. Some living entities, they can live in fire. So then Manu, Vibhishwan to Manu, Manu is the father of mankind. So Manu is living on a realm above the earth planet but on the Bhumandala, in the Bhumandala. Bhumandala is a universal planet. It's a you know, there, there are regions beyond the earth which are in the same kind of planetary system. But it's not, it's not known by ordinary people. It's the speci special regions where Manu live. People like Manu, they reside there. So, you cannot go there easily unless you have a lot of pious activities. Ma if you read the fifth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, so it describes there about Jambu Dweep. And then the, there's a region called Jambu Dweep, which is uh, within this universe but it, it's only reachable by qualified people. Uh, Ikshvaku. Ikshvaku. Well, Ikshvaku is again the same region, Jambudvi. 
Egg sparkle, it's the, the descendant of Manu. She bought the cow urine for uh, it's already five years. So is it also you can can she use the cow urine with which is already past five years in the holy dam? Yeah. What you gonna do? Drink it? <laughs> because if you're attached to the family at the end of life, then you'll come back in the family. You have to become attached to Krishna. You don't want to just be attached to your family. That will cause you to stay in the material world birth after birth. He's asking whether or not she's asking whether or not there are devotees in Suihua, Heilongjiang province. I don't know. You have to ask, ask some other people in Heilongjiang. Xiaiko <laughs> mm. oh, good day. because the the spiritual atmosphere is not so good in the family my small child is always playing toys and watching TVs and watch, watching cell phone I bought flowers to do art here, but it's all, all uh, it's not, it's all become spoiled. Not spoiled, spoiled. Yeah, I, I felt that I'm not so qualified to become parents. So, how can I help my child to do some service so that they can add? elevate their spiritual consciousness. Well, it's your fault. You keep a television at home and you let them watch television because you're watching television and your child watches television. It's your fault. Yeah, 
你的错，因为你让电视机进入到你的家里，然后你允许它存在在那里，因为你看过这电视，所以孩子他也照样照猫画虎。But you have to show a better example to your children to inspire them in Krishna consciousness. If you're chanting and if you're worshipping Krishna, then they will follow you. But if you're not Krishna conscious, how can you expect your child to become Krishna conscious? So you have to have kirtan at home, you have to do regular kirtan and you have to read the books, read Prabhupada's books and let them hear. You want to be teaching them Sanskrit mantras, teach them the prayers. Bhumandala is a region much greater than Earth. Earth is only one part of Bhumandala. You, you have to read the fifth canto Srimad Bhagavatam and understand more about the universe. Mm. Yeah. In the Gayatri Mantra we chant Om Bur Bhuva Swatat Stavitu Varinya. The Brahma Gayatri begins Om Bu Bu that Bu is Bu Mandala, then Bhuvar Mandala and Swa, Swa Mandala. Three different levels of the universe. So Bhu Mandala is the region where Manu and Ikshvaku like that, they reside there. Mount Meru is also there in the center, Bhu Mandala. 
马鲁和伊克萨库他们就居住在布乌尔这个层面上，而梅鲁山也处在这个区域当中，它是这个区域的中心。Says, uh, this devotee has already asked the others who knows whether um, there's devotees to connect with her. And the other devotees, they say thank you. And little Kishore did I say thank you. I miss you. I hope to get your personal association soon. Hare Krishna, Lila Kishore, Mataji. When Ta Hao. Guru Xianyun. Little Kishore, Mataji, Ning Hao. Are you a wanted man? No. So we finish here? Yes. There's no more question. Thank you, Maharaj. Okay, we want to thank Guru Mani, give we want to thank the fan E, thank the soil the function sir, Ling Ting, we want to do for you man, Shan Dan Jia Kuai La, Ming Nye, Sin Nye Kuai La, Yun Dan Kuai La, we want Ming Nye Jia Na, Hari Krishna, Shri Prabhupada. Recording stopped.